I want to do another Judas run, though. I, I really want to secure a good Judas win. Because good Judas wins are so satisfying. Alright. For a second, I thought that was Polyfem Polyphemus, and I got really excited. It ain't. It's just Mom's Contact. Or Mom's Eye, not Mom's Contact. Mom's Contact is actually amazing. Mom's Eye, I don't know. Kind of neither here nor there. It was terrible with, uh... It, it's terrible with certain ones, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It looks freaky, too. Oh, jeez. Okay, calm yourself, Wander. You can do this. Actually, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Uh, I had to quickly scratch my chin. Unfortunately, it's always one of those where the moment I start recording, it's like, ah, uh, let's let's get itchy. Because why not? And I'm like, oh man, I don't want to be itchy. I want to I want to be all good. I want to want to have to worry about distractions while I'm playing Isaac. Oh, well, Duke of Flies ain't no big deal. Let's look at the magic eight ball. It's not not the greatest. Two of spades either gives me two bombs or doubles the amount of bombs I have available. It's not bad. But again, it kind of falls under the same category of kind of like, eh, 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 we'll see. Either way, nothing left on this floor. See where it takes us. Hopefully, great places. Chances are, not. I don't know. Not the end of the Oh, jeez. Not the end of the world either. Trapdoor. Thank you very much. So, Isaac is... Isaac is, I don't know, Judas is. Hello, this is a boss trap room, which is inherently concerning. This could be a terrible idea. Either way, we'll find out. I think boss trap rooms this early on are generally filled with fairly easy bosses. Looks like that is the case right now. Jeez, okay, maybe rescind that statement. I'm trying to hold on to these spirit hearts and not pick them up immediately. Unless I absolutely have to. Oh, well, there's one down. I'll pick up one spirit heart. Preferably, I'd like to have have some in reserve. And I was hoping to actually get through without taking any damage. Could have actually held out. Okay, Larry, Larry Jr. Huh. Green Larry Jr. though. Should be fine. I think he randomly shoots stuff? But it's very hard to tell what's his shot and my shot, considering I'm shooting random shots at the uh, wazoo. No, he definitely does shoot things. Very rarely, but he does. Oh, well. We essentially got two spirit hearts for a little bit of stress. No big deal. I'm trying to make my sleeve not ride down because I'm trying to, I don't know, trying to keep things clear. I have to follow this thing. I think we've got two flies. Yep, we got two flies all the way over here. And a tinted rock. If only, oh, hey, they get dragged along. Huh. If only I had a bomb. If I had a bomb, it'd be easy. But no. Okay, let's just shoot to take him out. Fortunately, that guy there is just going to keep... Oh, this is... Well, he's making it slowly, and they're kind of pushing him along. I just hope he doesn't get pushed back out. Hopefully he gets pushed in the right direction, or skips it completely. Come on! I'm right here! I'm right here! You can hit me! Just... Please... 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 Just come. I'm just gonna start shooting. There we go. Damn, that was dumb. Okay, the way we got a random pill, I'm gonna follow this around. Because I want to get the random pill, I don't know what it does. And I'm a gambling man, especially because... Health up. Oh boy. That was worth it, that was absolutely worth it. Let's go see what's in the... I uh, can't. I was gonna say, let's go see what's in the item room. Don't have a key. Ah. Oh, hopefully I'll get lucky. Actually, come to think of it, I do have two bombs if I absolutely need them. I believe so. Either that or I have two keys. Don't know. So the thing is, the two of spades will either give me two keys, two bombs, and I don't remember which is which. I think clubs is bombs. Uh, but I'd prefer if I could have more keys so I could double them. You know, four keys would be wonderful. Instead of just, you know, two. Oh, hello. Instead of just two. Leave me alone, please. Thank you very much. Okay, you, you keep away don't want to take damage here, because, you know what, we might, well, we're definitely not as lucky as earlier when we were running around as Eden, as, like, some kind of crazed wrecking ball creature, but either way, let's just, let's just shoot the pimple dudes, 
Make them leave me alone. Don't like, don't like them at all. Death and destruction await them. I don't know. Mainly, not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure why they're such a hard enemy for me. They don't even like shoot particularly fast. They don't shoot particularly often. It's just kind of this like weird, hard to predict. I guess it's because they don't have a good tell. Most enemies have a very good tell. Like you can kind of tell what they're going to be like when they're going to be shooting. Also, god damn it, it's a Dingle. At the very least, I'm sitting on a pair of spirit hearts, which is usually pretty great. I'd love to save them as long as possible, so we'll see. And deal with the devil always is pretty encouraging. Okay. Oh. That means he's gonna shoot. Un unfortunately, Dingle's tells. I think part of the reason I have trouble with Dingle is his tells are confusing and potentially misleading. So we get Jesus Juice, which is great, and Guppy's Collar. Uh, if, if I could turn this into a guppy run, that'd be that'd be nice. Unlikely, but nice. Okay, two of spades. That gives me two keys, and apparently I got a bomb somewhere along the way. Let's go back for that tinted rock. This is going to the shop right now? Pointless. Going to the curse room? Pointless. Blowing up that rock? Not, not pointless. Freaking. Oh, hey. Actually, those keys are absolutely necessary. Wow. It's actually quite the windfall. Um, I'm going to have to take the long way around. Yeah, so we've got, what, four tinted uh, tinted hearts, spirit hearts, uh, piggy bank. Ah, the problem is the pig piggy bank is every time I take damage, I get coins, which is a fairly common thing. I was really hoping it would be something better than that. Either way, though, this is, this is good. This is a good start. Because this is going to give me... Uh, <laughs> this gives me a lot of survivability, and hopefully that's going to carry over into a full guppy run. I'd love to go into the curse rooms. Unfortunately, the curse rooms are kind of in inconsistent as far as, like, giving you guppy bits. I feel like I should, but at the same time, I don't know. Beard hearts are super valuable, and wasting them on nothing is... bad? Like, I have to waste, essentially, a full spirit heart to get in. I guess sometimes you get lucky, though. Oh, balls. Wait, wait. Okay, well, wasted full spirit heart on that. At least I have another key and I can go into the item room. You're kidding me. So that item is called Telepathy for Dummies. It is just awful. It's not a good item. I don't even know why it's in the game. I'm sure there's some level of, like, synergy to go with it. Maybe if you had Brimstone, but just, ugh. Alright, well, I'll just... I'll just not. And, oh god, this is gonna be a mess. Actually... Not only is it going to be a mess, it's a mess I don't want to deal with right now, normally. Because every time one of those guys dies... Oh, they do a full point of damage, too. Well, that's pretty atrocious. I'm losing spirit hearts fast. I was like, yeah, man, I got, I got like four spirit hearts. This is great. We're going to do fine. But the problem is, not being able to fly really does kind of put a damper on my ability to do shit. Freaking spiders. How have I not gotten hit yet? I don't, I don't even know. Either way, I've not got keys or anything either. Come on. Just you, one, one of you die. There we go. Unfortunately, these guys have kind of weirdly inconsistent range. I, oh, you know what? They can shoot vertically off the floor. Whew. I should probably aim for the center of them, not otherwise. All right, well, whatever. There we go. He's dead. Nope, not dead. At least I got a tear on the back of my eye, which took out a spider. I like that. A tear. Come on, give me a path. Beautiful. I like this room configuration. No enemies. Free stuff. Four coins. Little haiku I, uh, I devise? Uh, devise is not the right word. I'm just gonna go with haiku that isn't actually a haiku. But it is my true feelings on the matter. Let us leave. Oh, shitballs. That was not a haiku. Shitballs is not a haiku. Okay. Balls of steel? Puberty. Shit. Alright. Oh, double widow, too. This is rough business. Alright, you know what? If this is going to be my last run of Isaac, I, I feel like I've kind of run the gamut as far as my luck goes. And I'm at this point, just 
Well, I'm not even pushing it. I'm just not going to get anything better than the previous run. That's okay. I mean, RNG. What I'm going to do is probably switch over to a different game, just for a little while at least. I was thinking Risk of Rain. Playing some Risk of Rain with the guys, and it was good. So we have the latch key, and... Uh, I believe the latch key gives us a spirit heart. Could be wrong about that. We also get... Shit ton of pills. Bad gas. Luck up. Luck up. Let's put out that fire before I try and pick up the last one. Health up. Hello. Alright, that was pretty much as good as it was going to get. Oh, shoot. You can't check the map inside of the devil room. Uh... I could potentially rush it. The problem, the problem is, like, I wouldn't mind doing another boss rush, but at the same time, probably would end terribly. Actually, let's just check out what's in the shop and then make a decision. Oh, yeah. No, we are, absolute, we are absolutely trying to clear at least part of this floor before we get out of here. Because the thing is... Uh... Oh. And that would be nice. Luckily... Okay. Because if I can get one single coin in any of this, we're in a good position. I'm actually going to get risky here. Go in here, because if I can get... Goat head. Not worth it, but whatever. Oh, hey, there's the, there's the last coin we needed. Perfect. Well, let's in the battle room before we go. Eh, not as perfect. So I got two bombs, and that means we can get something. Oh, right, I was going to check for the secret room. It's like two places. No, one place it can be. Two, two places it can be. Probably over here. I believe. Between the battle room and the item room, that's uncommon. But it works. Alright. Gives us the battery. Not great. I... Well, okay. That worked out. I was gonna say that wasn't worth it, but in the end, it was worth it. Two bombs for a spirit heart. It's not the best trade. Actually, I should grab this red heart while we're here. Not the best trade, but it works. Now, the shop, the reason why... I'm going back for it. It's the PhD. PhD gives you all good pills, or at least neutral pills, if not. And that's great for us. Bad gas. It falls under neutral. And I wish I had more cash, because if I did, then I go get my hands on uh, those pills and the spirit heart in there. Not the case. I'll just deal with it. And it should be fine. Hopefully we can get like a butt ton of pills along the way. And, uh, well, get our tears up to insane levels. That'd be nice. Doesn't happen very often, though. Unfortunately, I can't get into the boss trap room anymore. Anyway, gotta watch out for those, because they actually shoot homing tears. That's not appreciated. Luckily, being far away from them actually seems to work as a effective counter. Hey, I could go totally go for the fart penny, which is worthless. Every time I pick up money, I get, uh... Well, I, I do, like, a fart effect, I believe. I think that's how it works. Oh, to leave me alone. I don't like close quarters against wiggly enemies that have unpredictable movement. See? It's completely random. Don't even know. I guess I could use bad gas against them if I really wanted to. Freaking spiders. Oh, it's hiding behind the map too, which is worthless because we've got, we've got uh, Curse of the Lost. So I have lost a complete spirit heart here. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Yeah, this is like... Nope. Hmm. If I knew what those were, I'd maybe go for them. But I don't, so I'm not going to. Death to you? Death to you. Help. Uh, the guy spawning the spiders is kind of a pain in the ass, but I'd rather take out the enemy that's actively shooting at me. Right? Right. Death? Maybe? Maybe? Death? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. Oh, shoot, that's that's a much bigger spider than I was expecting. Okay, so how are we doing? I don't know. I don't know how we're doing. We're doing okay. We just can't see shit. That's never okay. I'm going to pop up the Book of Belial for... Yep, that's exactly what I wanted, the Book of Belial. Let's see if I can kill him before he does any more dastardly deeds. The answer is... Oh, this sucks. In fact, I have lost whole spirit heart and a half here? Yeah, I have. And ain't good. Maybe I'll get lucky and get a balls of steel. 
I do have the potential for it. 48 hour energy. Actually, not bad. Gives me a couple of batteries, which means if I run into any other bad rooms, then I'm at the very least going to be able to pop Book of, Book of Belial and Nucatron. Or not Nucatron. They're Nucatroning. I, me. Oh, well, there goes the last of my health. At the very least, now I'm going to be able to get into the curse rooms. Oh, yeah, they do have like a giant gash on their back. Not great. Oh, well, either way, we'll be fine. Completely forgot to go back for the bad gas. You, please die. Thank you. I'm not even wearing the champion band right now. Oh, hey, I went in a circle and I have no idea. None whatsoever. Let's grab that, grab a battery, go fight things. I think that qualifies bad gas time. Come on, come on, just die, just die. Oh, hey, they found the secret room for me. I would have never found that normally considering how, how these guys have so much health. Either that or I'd have so very little damage. I haven't gotten a damage down though, have I? Don't think so. No, I haven't. Either way, what do, oh, golden poop. Oh, it means I could uh, have fun in a shop. So many farts. So many farts. Either way, oh, balls. I'm just abusing the crap out of this Book of Belial today. But that's okay, 48 hour energy just kind of justifies it. I got, I got two keys, I got bombs. I could, um, stem cells, not exactly what I would call the best, but it'll do. And again, as long as we got the Book of Belial with us, we get automatic devil rooms, which is really nice. And there's the shop we're looking for, which means I could potentially get another spirit heart. Might hold off on that, might not. Uh, uh, well, doesn't matter. So what I'm gonna do instead, I can see forever. I think I'll hold on to that next floor. Because right now, I've already found one of the secret rooms, and the super secret room ain't the greatest. Thank you, eye in the back of my head. Turns out, saves a lot of issues. Abundance. Okay, so that's gonna be great if I find a room full of junk. Oh, hello. Well, there, my bomb was wasted because I'm a dumbass. I'll, I'll probably be fine. <laughs> just, I want, I want a spirit heart. I want, I want a tinted rock, and it's just like, nope. And if it doesn't give me a tinted heart, hell, if it gives me, if it gives me two, I'm gonna be one happy dude. But uh, abundance lets me double our stuff. And that'd be great. Just gotta make sure I don't waste my last bomb on it. Like a fool. Either way. Uh, I'm gonna go fight the boss first, I think. I really wish, like, Curse of the Lost would go away after I beat the boss. Not the case, though. You ready to die yet? Nope! Ain't ready to die. You're getting feisty. Okay, so he's doing nothing but charge me. Oh, well. That hurt a little. And... Yeah, he... This guy also has confusing tells. So I can't tell if he's going to do a salvo, blood laser, what. At least his charge is easy to tell, considering, well, he kind of readies himself, and taking a full heart of damage. Add no big deal. I got that right back, and I get the blue cap. HP, tears up, shots beat down. Fucking Krampus. Please give me the lump of coal this time. I'm going to be kind of cross if he gives me anything else. Please, just death. Like, the nice thing about uh, Wrath of the Lamb, Krampus always gave you the lump of coal. So he was like super exciting to run into. This, not so much though. He's just kind of a 50-50 mix of like, oh man, this is amazing, or eh. Also, a bad time for my nose to start itching and my eyes to start watering. Probably good indication. Wander needs to sleep. Oh, there's a little bit of damage. Luckily, not having spirit hearts does kind of free me from the responsibility of my actions. For better or worse. All right, let's bomb this open. What do you get? Spirit Heart. Uh, I'm gonna actually go back, grab Jera, get over here. It's not the best boon, but I'd rather have multiples. If I had two Jeras, that'd be sweet, but I don't. Do I have anything else that I even want? I think this was the shop, right? I'm gonna buy a key. I'm sitting on enough, enough cash that is justified. And with that, I think I'm gonna leave. I found the item room, right? Yeah, it had a something in it. 
I don't even remember. And I'm glad I didn't waste my bomb on trying to get to that one random chest. Might have had something good. I have no idea. No guarantees whatsoever. Alright, this is Krampus's head. Screw you, Krampus's head. I'm leaving. So, Depths 1. No way I'm getting the boss rush, but that's okay. Honestly, boss rush would be pretty freaking bad for me right now. Like, if I was a Zazel, sure. Probably have a decent chance of getting it. Anything else? Not so much. A oh, why, why, why is this even a room? There's nothing for me to do there. Nothing whatsoever. Okay. Any, uh, hmm. That's tempting. Just because huge potential of getting myself a guppy run. Oh, right. I, I can see forever. Good time to use it. Just because it's a new floor, new stuff. Already wasted half of the spirit heart. That's not the greatest. I'll probably go into that boss room. Because now I got, I got bombs and stuff. Hello. Hello. Sort of, Bessie? I'm running into a lot of champion enemies for some reason today, and I don't understand why. I, I'm just kind of like in bewilderment. First it's like Curse of the Blind, then it's whatever the heck last run was. Which is honestly like super vanilla, but still quite amazing, and it was a great boss rush run too. I was very appreciative of that. Are you gonna die yet? Fortunately these red enemies have shit tons of health. Okay, now I'm gonna bomb that out. Get out of the way. Triple bombs. Yeah, no, we're, we're definitely going into that battle room. It's just too appropriate. Oh, hey, I can turn the map back on. Right? What the... Why is the map worthless today? It's just blank. Odd. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, shoot. I should kill this thing. Oh, what? I've never heard of them killing their allies before. That's absolutely new. That can't be anything else. And that was an absolute mistake on my part. Oh well, it's late at night. I'm just I'm just gonna blame the time of day for my inability to play properly, and the fact that I've been doing a lot of stuff recently. Either way, found the shop. Shop might have spirit heart for me, like my like my spirit hearts, like other stuff too. But I I can afford them so, or it's greed. Well, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be sitting on a whole lot of spirit hearts today. Not being able to fly and or just not having any speed, period, is just kind of throwing forks and things. Also, between the greed effect and the you know, steam sale, that's pretty worthless. Uh, between the greed effect and the piggy bank, we made bank from that room. Sort of. Either way, did not lose too much health, but lost a lot in dignity. Dignity's important, you know? S sort of. Well, either way. Oh, shit. He's gonna be a pain in the ass. Nuts. Why Why do these guys even turn around? They're not supposed to. They're supposed to be just consistent in not... I don't even know. Unfortunately, this guy can't be followed. There's a significant probability. I'm gonna... I have to bomb my way out of here? Nope, I can hit him from the side. This is good. This is good because otherwise this would be largely impossible. Please don't hit me. Yeah. So he's got like a little bit of a hit back. Hit backs. Hit backs. Yeah, Bostonian accent. Where'd you come from? Get out of here. I'm not really from Boston. You're, you're from Minnesota, of all places. Okay. I'm really disappointed that PhD is not PhDing as well as I was hoping. Either way, we found the boss. I'm probably going to book a while, then go do the battle room. Because we're out of spirit hearts. And luckily, seeing as we are... Huh. Well, I guess I'll just throw it on for the boss fight. I don't know who we're up against. Monstro 2. Probably a good choice. I'm probably going to lose it. But that's okay. It's going to make Monstro... Yep. What did I just say? We're probably going to lose it. Oh, well. Not the end of the world. Because... At least it's Red Monster 2 who is, who is arguably easier than regular Monster 2. Because he's a, yes, he's a little bit smaller, which means he's a little bit harder to hit. But he uh, he only summons two of the flies. For whatever reason. And I'm okay with that. I'd rather have a small enemy 
that uh, summons far less distractions for me to deal with. It does look like his little, like, tear blast when he lands is bigger, though. That's no big deal either. Wow, I might actually be able to keep this black heart for this. It seems unlikely to me, but it works. No blood lasers for you. At least, none to my face. I like my face. It does face things. And is he dead yet? No, he's not dead yet. We're close. Man, I love Book of Belial, though. It's... Absolutely my favorite. Hello! Magic Mushroom. Oh, okay. This is where things could actually start going well. So the thing is, small chance we're going to get Guppy items from each one of these. Usually you want Guppy's tail because it increases your chances of getting them. Nuts. But we got, what, five hearts? Five red hearts right now? There we go. The map is back. wonder where it went. wonder what it was doing. Either way, we've got the battle room and... Right, I can put out these fires. I don't know what it's going to give me. I don't think it's going to give me anything particularly worth worthwhile. But that's okay. Come here, battle room. If I can, if I can get Guppy, that's going to save this run. Otherwise, eh, not so much, though. So. We'll see. Oh, uh, mm. oh, that was worth it. Oh, right. I want a 48-hour energy right now. Book of Belial. Make this go super fast. Lickety split. Kill everything quick. It, it works, actually, quite well. Oh, hey, let's grab grab the Swallowed Penny, too. Don't actually know what that does. I don't know what most of the Penny ones do. They're all just kind of random, and... I mean, necessary-ish, but not terribly unnecessary. I don't know. I'm just making up shit right now. But Penny is definitely not worth it, because most of the time when I'm picking up cash, it's not with enemies around. And then, let's, uh... Let's grab the last of these batteries. Or... Whatever. Now the question is, do I farm farm the floor? Well, that was embarrassing. I I guess I'm going to. There goes my black heart. So there goes pretty much all responsibility I have to, well, playing responsibly. Just death and destruction await. Oh, this is much bigger floor than I expected. I'm just gonna book a Belial here, considering I'm sitting on so many freaking batteries back in the battle room. I don't like these guys. I don't. Uh, mm. I've just. I, I haven't checked out. Like, it's definitely one of those where this run could go either way. If I could get flight and more damage, we'd be in a really good position, though we'd be hard pressed to win against multiple bosses in quick succession. How the heck did I knock it? Oh, oh there I got hit. We'd. we'd if we're exactly like this, we're probably going to get our ass handed to us, specifically on the womb. I am fabulously wealthy. Because the other thing that could potentially propel us, not to victory, but to at least a good position, would be a really good arcade. Because our... Oh, shoot! I never found the item room on this floor, did I? I'm just gonna accept damage into my soul. I don't know. Seriously, not having spirit hearts really does make dodging silly and unnecessary. At least in this context. Just hit these guys a little bit. The problem is their their jumpiness makes them hard to dodge. And we're done. Okay, item room, what do you got for me? Little Chad gives kisses. I seriously don't know what that does. I've never figured it out. Probably will never figure it out. At least we've got greed out of the pool. We got a lot of things out of the pool, so let's let's just get down. Hope hope there's an arcade on the next floor. There's nothing in here, right? Nothing. Right. What did it even give us? Oh right, three red chests. The problem is, we we need some deals with the devil. We're not getting them. Dare I waste three bombs on three of these? I I dare. Come on. Nothing? Oh, hello. I'm gonna hold off off on that, because if I can bring them potentially into the mom fight, that'll give us some nice stuff. Death for you. And mainly, I want to go into curse rooms. It's a lot harder to go into curse rooms with spirit hearts. Please give me a guppy item. That was good positioning. Ooh. Well, I have to get this one. I ain't coming back for it. Uh, so I guess that's just probably collateral. I mean, maybe I'll be smart, wise, and effective at my dodging, but currently, do you see the size of my head? 
Do you think I have the capacity for dodging in my soul? No, you don't. I am going to take everything head on. Okay, that's enough head punts. Getting a little heady. I don't know. Ladder. But I do have the PhD, so I can see forever. Not a bad choice. And everything else is worthless. So this way, we're going to know where the secret rooms are. We've already found Mom, admittedly. That's crazy. We are way behind schedule, though. There's no way we're getting a boss rush. I don't think I would do well against one. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't doubt myself so much. But I do. It happens. It's life. Let's just freaking kill these wigged out float babies. They have some name. All of the enemies in this game have a name. I just don't know what they are, and I honestly have never been quite asked to do it. Okay, I can see forever. I guess we'll carry that with us, unless it's... Huh. Interesting. Well, that's encouraging. I don't actually know specifically what Tech 5 does. But... It feels like it makes me shoot faster. Alright, we don't want the Cursed Skull. Cursed Skull is bad. What it does is it essentially drops you out to the previous room when you go down to, like, your last half heart. But if you've got Spirit Hearts, well, it's worse than that. Oh man, I was hoping that Black Heart would take precedence and leave the Spirit Heart as quote-unquote armor. Oh, well, not the end of the world. Seriously though, Tech 5? Uh, might not save this run, but it's definitely going to prolong it in a very good way. Because I feel like I'm shooting like crazy now. And I feel like my damage has been upped. Like, I seriously feel... Uh, well, that was a waste. Uh, I feel like I'm in a really good position here. I'm not entirely sure why I'm clearing... Oh, right, I'm looking for an arcade. Because the thing with the arcade could potentially net me some pills. And that's always good. That's really good. Also, someday aspire to have Tech 1, Tech 2, and uh, Tech 5. And Robo Baby. All of them together would be amazing. Chances of me getting that? Mm, pretty low. Uh, chances of me getting an arcade here? Pretty low. We'll see. We got one, one room left. And the answer is. Doubtful. Oh, what? It, like, angled there. Hell, oh, what? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Okay, so we got the contract from below. It's pretty worthless for us now. I was hoping I'd get it earlier, but it's not bad. Bad gas, get that out of the way. Now, we're actually sitting on a lot of spirit hearts. We've been to the curse room. No guppy, unless I get really lucky on womb one. But, we might actually not have this in the bag, but have this in a very, very... Good position, yeah, guys. I don't see. All oh, right. So here's what I'm gonna do. Last thing before we get out of here, let's donate as much cash as we can donate to the box. Pretty much until it fills up. Come on, take my money. Take it faster. I don't want it. Store upgrade level three. Don't know what that actually is going to do. <laughs> this feels like something I should have done a long time ago. But there is a small chance we're going to find an arcade down below. So I'm going to leave 20 coins. That seems responsible. Because getting an arcade, getting a bunch of pills, probably going to be absolutely amazing for us. Hard to tell. Well, luckily, since we got tears in the back of our head, we've actually got great clearing potential. Well, there's a random hit that I didn't see coming. Either way, let's just dump these things. And try and avoid... Luckily, Tech has Strike Through, and... I mean, essentially, I can just place myself at a crossroads and shoot. Which is pretty good. Just gotta watch out for the hand. Hand, not appreciated. And luckily, we've actually got so many Spirit Hearts, we might actually get a deal with the Devil here. I'd forgotten that you can get those against the Mom fight. Well, hello. Okay. Wow. Punny. Oh, right. I already got the deal with the devil. Never mind. At the very least, we got the halo, though. Which puts us in a really good position, because... Ah, uh, well, look at our damage stat. Jesus. We're ready and raring to deal with that. I actually forgot to use the Book of Belial against Mom. 
Whoops. Either way, I can see forever. Let's see if I can suss out a secret room. I already did. It's kind of nuts. Interesting, if I block the back... Oh boy, that was... that could have been bad. If I block the back, it actually makes tech point five. Judas's tongue? Eh. It's better than, uh, cash money. So Judas's tongue reduces the cost of deal with the devil items. Technically, might not actually make a bit of difference here. Oh, this is really bad. I chose the absolute wrong path to go through that level. Oh, well. It'll be fine. We're, we should be able to find an arcade here. Whoa, that was close. Gimme? Jesus, that's that's a lot of coins. I don't know. Every Everything is kind of working out. I don't have the highest of hopes. But, oh, hey. There's, there's the secret room, which means the second secret room. Which means we're probably really close to the boss room. It's got the intestines in it. Which is not necessary. If it was cancer, I'd be, like, super happy. That's a phrase you don't think you hear very often. There's a lot of these guys. I don't actually remember what they even do. Oh, right. I should be over here. They just kind of charge at you and look scary. Oh, either way. Oh, hello. Apparently I can shoot over those rocks. Oh, contract from below. Seems to be working out. Balls of steel? Bad gas. Mm, could be worse. Okay. So we got... Oh. Very rarely are there spiders on the wall that you come in on. I, th I think that's actually the first time I've ever run into that. Oh. There's a little bit of health. It's okay. It should be fine. All we need to do is just nuke this guy to kingdom come. I'll probably go back and look for the... Look for the arcade. Death. I don't think I've ever actually fought death normally before. Holy shit, I do a lot of damage to him though. So... One of the general concerns with death is his scythes will kind of mess your day up. Not, not today. What do we got in here? Oh shit! Huh? I am very glad I grabbed Judas's tongue. So now we do more damage. Fly. Here's the question. Book of Belial or the Nail? Um, I think it's gonna have to be the Nail. Does prevent us from going to Sheol, but that's okay. Sheol's not a huge priority for us right now. This could be a really bad decision. Thank you, Battery. But the thing is, the Nail gives us Spirit Hearts. Nothing else does. And that could be really, really good for us. Why am I even he still here? Because I'm a moron. And mainly, there's usually an arcade on Womb 1. At least in my experience. And I'd love to have an arcade right now. Actually, let's get in here, use the nail. Nuke this guy to death. Unfortunately, I don't have, like, crate... Oh. I don't have crazy luck up right now. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. Py oh, pyromaniac. Shoot, I was thinking that was the. I was thinking that was something wildly different. Well, either way, we are in a fabulous position for taking out even a boss trap room that's m masquerading as anything else. Seriously, that was mad easy. Oh right, we still have one left. And I'm not even running the nail right now. I'm just running. I'm just running as me. Oh, this this is shaping up pretty freaking well. Is that a boss trap room? Nope, that was just a regular battle battle room. I guess regular battle rooms are boss trap rooms on the womb. Should have expected that actually. By the way, I, I'm farming nail charges because if if I can be absolutely maxed out here. then we're in a very good position. Let's just take them the rest of the way out. Yeah, those meat hawks are not exactly my friends here. I have not found a whole lot of s spirit hearts on in the wild, though. That's unfortunate. Ooh. Okay, there we go. So I've got a pair of 48-hour energies right here on the ground. That's actually great, because I can 
just finish this room. Probably won't need the nail for it. Yeah, I'm not going to need the damage boost. There we go. So now I can use the nail. Open these chests. Get out of there. Okay, switch out for the fish head. It's not great. 48 hour, hour energy. Use the nail again. Grab another battery. Yeah, this is this is pretty much perfect. No arcade though. Sad about that one. Yep, tech five. I I honestly don't know about like what the difference is between tech five and anything anything else, but it feels like tech five is just like the best item ever. Oh, well, let's max out our shit. There's not another battery in here, is there? Nope. And I don't need Judas's tongue because I've already beaten the boss. So we're we're good, and we've cleared the floor. No arcade. Dang. Oh well, I foresee myself doing very well against uh, Mom's heart and Sheol if I really wanted to go there, or or Isaac, as long as I don't take too much damage. All right, I got crazy tears. So let's let's just go in here. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so the thing is, I could go for the safety cap, but we have so very little. Uh, like, we have so very little of this left, it doesn't seem like a good idea. Whereas this, well, I'm actually kind of disappointed Tech 5 doesn't shoot straight back. Oh, Judgment, thank you very much. This Judgment always means a random item, assuming you have the cash for it, but hell yeah, dog food. Oh, I guess that knocks out one of my spirit hearts, but that that's okay. I, I don't need to go to the shield. Right now, main goal, not to go to Sheol. Main goal, uh, beat the cathedral so I can start going to the chest. Oh. There's him. I'll have to think about that one. I mean, I, pro I probably do it. There's probably enough hearts for it. Ugh. Ow. Well, maybe I'll get another one. Maybe I'll be lucky. I don't know. We'll see. Either way... Nail's going to give me another spirit heart as long as I don't take too much damage here. As it's going to be all okay. Everything's going to be a-okay. Makes me happy. Blasto, change-o, please don't take too much damage. It didn't work. Magic spells, I am not a wizard. Let's see. Uh, I'll be fine. Probably? I don't, I don't know. Just blasting up. Oh. Team Rocket is not blasting that direction again. So I'm taking a little bit of damage here, which I'm not keen on. Hello, that was way too close for me. I really don't understand what little Chad does. I'll have to figure that out someday. Let's just blast things from distance. In fact, I should probably blast things vertically. Give me a lot more space to maneuver, at least this part. Is everything dead? Everything is dead. So, let's, um... Let's go fight the boss. Actually, seeing as we're here... Because I, I can still leave, and I can still get to the cathedral without any issues, as I am. Yep, here we go. Crazy damage. It's fairly decent DPS. It's pretty encouraging, at the very least. Oh, he's doing this now. I don't like it when it does this. Wow. Oh, oh took a little bit of damage there. That's okay. So, these will be here. I can come back. Do I even care? No, not really. Is there anything I was missing? There's a chest back there that I passed up. What was it? I'm just gonna quickly go back and check. That's definitely a secret room. It looks like it's been... It's not. Wow. There's like a little bit of level adjustment. Oh, right. Right. I know what I was gonna do. One. Two. Two. Three. Come on. Four. Uh, I don't. I'm not gonna waste any spirit hearts on him. That's for certain. But if if I can get a demon judgment item, I'm gonna be like super happy. We'll see. I, I'm gonna waste all of my red hearts just because I got plenty of spirit hearts, and we'll figure it out. Uh, it's. Come on. Pay out on something good. Alright. Well, we got Roid Rage. Speed and range. Not exactly what I was hoping for. 
But it'll do, and I've got enough health. Go back up to full, and that's gonna be it. Ah, uh, no, I'm gonna check out the chest. I have bad, bad memory. Either way, not going into any of those. Could have actually gotten to the boss trap room. Apparently there's a chest in here? Oh no, this is a chest room. Any of you guys feel like being nice to me? Nope, the answer is no. Well, that's it for that. So we've got the nail. Nail's gonna give us spirit hearts. I don't even know. Uh, might as well just blow these up. I've got so many bombs that I generally don't use them in combat. Spirit hearts? Spirit knots. All right, that's enough screwing around. Yeah, so I've got 48 iron energy, which is automatically, what, three, four spirit hearts? Kind of depending on your perspective on things. And that is probably going to guarantee some pretty good survival against Isaac. I don't know. Oh, geez. Glad it got out of there. Grab these and GTFO. Yeah, because I'm only two spirit hearts down. Let's go to the cathedral. Find things out. What is the, uh, what's the trapdoor down, though? I don't actually know about that one. Either way, Loki should not be a big deal. Gotta keep my distance, though. Because he does annoying shit. Oh, like that. It's not the kind of annoying shit that I want to deal with. I'm gonna have to hide over here. Yeah, he keeps teleporting on my face. I don't like when they do that. Uh, yeah, because these levels are hella tight. I don't like that. I don't like that. Either way, please, spirit hearts, maybe? Nope, that's a troll bomb. Man, if I had dark bomb, everything would be beautiful. I don't have dark bomb. Everything is not beautiful. At least Pride's gonna murder himself pretty handily. And we do have contract from below, so... Chances are we're maybe eventually going to get... Is that gonna... Oh, right. That explodes uselessly if you put it on one of the weird pedestal-y things. Hey, yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So I guess I'm going to have to put them in opposite angles. There and there. Boosh. And... Boosh? Nope. Well, at least Contract from Below is dumping like a shit ton of bombs and stuff on me, so that's good. And we... Uh, we're recouping our losses. Oh, shit balls. Uh, I don't have the nail yet, and I really don't want to use 48 hour energy. Holy shit, that does a lot of damage. Never mind. Alright, well, uh, we've recouped our bombs. That might be the secret room there, but I don't want to mess around with it too much. I'm going to use the nail on the next room. Yep, this is a good one. Haunt, it kind of sucks. I mean, he doesn't actually suck. He's a giant pain in the ass. Oh, and right, he does the, like, super suck. You can't stand to his side because he, like, scoots towards you every time you hit him. Oh, it worked for me. And I don't actually... Can you hit these guys with, with uh, tech? Yeah, you can. Tech it Right, tech has complete strike through. Perfect. Well, not complete strike through. It doesn't strike through rocks and stuff, but it does strike through enemies, which is exactly what we need right now. Bammo. Still no dark bum. Well, of course no dark bum. Never had him, but uh, ch chances of getting dark bum at this point, slim to not going to happen. But that's okay, because honestly, we're kind of kicking the cathedral's ass right now. And we, we have 40 hour, 48 hour energy. So we pretty much automatically are going to have a fully charged nail, no matter what we run into, for the uh, Isaac fight. Every, ah, we found it. Is there a reason for me? To, oh, shit balls. I do not have a small hitbox for that. That's okay. Pretty much kicking his ass anyway. And on one hand, I could actually... Actually, I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to make this go faster. There we go. He's not dead yet. But that's okay, because... Balls of steel. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. We got the nail for Isaac and balls of steel. Bam! All right. Oh, I should should have waited on that one. I'm an idiot. Oh, either way, I have lost, what, several spirit hearts already. I need the Polaroid bad. That's okay. Balls of steel, might as well. Not a bad time for it. God, this is actually kind of awful. 
I've taken way more damage against Isaac than I usually do. That's okay. This is usually the phase where I can kind of deal with it for whatever mysterious reason, because he doesn't hit me as hard. All right, take your lumps. I said take your lumps. Well, either way, I do have... No, the eternal life question mark ain't going to save my ass against this. That's okay. Only got red hearts left. Oh, please don't crash on me right now. There we go. That was a lot closer than I'd like to admit, but... Bam. Oh. Top corners, light won't hit you. That's a good piece of advice for next time. I'll keep that in mind. Either way, though, that was a really good uh, end run. I was not expecting that run to go anywhere. Honestly, I gave up from it right from the get-go, and, uh, well, runs like that always serve to remind me to not... Uh, not give up halfway through.